Booty gonna hurt. Booty, 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 booty gonna, gonna hurt. hurt. That's right. Nothing like getting all outfitted in tights first thing in the morning. I think this should be our new uniform at work. <laughs> you think they look good? Yeah, I think they look great. Have you guys ridden your bike a lot before? This is the first time in like 25 years. Hey folks, how are you doing? Excellent. Good. My name is Malcolm. I'm a senior instructor with REI Outdoor School. And I hear you guys are looking to learn a little bit more about road cycling, maybe learn how to yeah. commute. Yeah. yeah. What would you say is the number one top thing that we should be aware of. Really paying attention to your surroundings is probably the most important thing you can do. I feel like we're really far from where we're supposed to be. Are we Are we heading in the right direction, Anna? We're totally going in the right direction. I feel like um, in order to get to one's destination, you have to travel a long road to learn. Oh, Caterpillar! I also recommend wear reflective light-colored clothes. You want to be as visible as possible. Definitely have lights on your bicycle so that people can see where you are. I wonder if we should invite maybe like five to ten more people to commute with us. That would be cool. What would you call us, Noah? If we were a gaggle of bike commuters? Yeah, like the telecommuters. The telecommuters. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> if my normal ride in a car is going to be 30 minutes, how long is that going to take me on a bike? It has a lot to do with the type of terrain that you're on, how hilly is it going to be, and also how many stops you're going to have to make along the way. My blood sugar is crashing. No passing out, Noah. OK. But typically, I usually triple the time if it takes me half an hour, it's probably going to take me an hour and a half to ride the bike. Do you think we're even going to make it on time? Doesn't yeah. matter. We'll get there when we get there. Take a ride, 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 take a ride with me. My buns are going to be so ripped. I'm having a symbiotic sort of relationship with the outdoors right now. How do you let other people on the path know what you're doing? So you can use a bell to let people ahead of you know where you are. In traffic, you can use signals to let the cars and the traffic behind you know what's happening. You can use your arm and signal a left turn. Left turn. And I'm turning right. Right turn. And then if I'm stopping, put my hand down like that. Take a ride, take a ride with me. How do you know when and how to shift? Usually you want to shift right before you get to the hill. OK, we got a big hill. So these are the gear shifts? I think so. If it's a little shift in the hill, then you probably want to stick with the right side or the rear cassette, which makes just little incremental changes in the gearing. I can't stop. I'm pedaling so fast. It's too many pedals for the hill. If it's a bigger, steeper hill, then you can go and, and make a big shift and do one of the front gears, which is going to make it a much bigger difference when you make that shift. Just one pump at a time. One pump at a time. I am winded. I feel accomplished. That was our workout for the day, friends. Hey, hold on. So one thing you want to do is be prepared for the worst. So make sure you have a repair kit, an extra tube, a pump, and then most important is the knowledge in how to repair that and get that tire off and back on to your bike. Is this supposed to come out like this? Are there any final cool. tips you could offer us that come to mind? Probably the most important thing you can do is to create an environment where you're going to have fun riding the bike, whether that be getting some friends to do the ride with you or just being really comfortable on the bike with the right equipment so that you know that when you get on the bike, you're going to have a good time when you're out riding. Our first time out, we did great. Proud. Feeling I'm pretty proud. Good. This has been a big day. It's a good start to a solid investment.